Hello everybody and welcome back to Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. Today we get quite a few people that we're going to chat with. I think the majority of the crew, uh, I think we finished conversations with most of them and all of them have something new to say, so it's been really fun. And uh, I, I always enjoy listening to Kander's stories and freaking Joe Lee is hilarious. He's probably my favorite, honestly. But anyway, I hope you all enjoy the episode and it will start momentarily. You recommend you to buy Star Wars Legends Revan? Yes, I've actually been. I I I've been doing a lot of like Star Wars audiobooks, and I I, I was I was really eyeing that Revan one, but I was told I should avoid it for now because it will add spoilers. Yes, what is it? Something wrong? I was remembering Taris. Uh, Kendra's quit will start like, uh, Jolie, a random encounter with some character. Hi, Mark Nikki! Welcome back! After a specific dialogue? Okay, so I should bring Candorous out. Okay. Yeah, it would spoil the whole game, yeah. Um, I'm... What about it? It was a horrible place to have to live. At least in the lower cities where the non-humans tended to get relegated. Living for years in a place with no sun, living off the trash dropped from the upper levels, and the meager pay doing back-breaking labor. I... are there any planets in Star Wars where the humans are the oppressed ones who have to live in the lower levels? Because I feel like, for whatever reason, even in the future where humans are only one race out of, like, a billions of races, uh, humans somehow still end up trying to, like, subjugate everybody else. Like, I could see it on, like, a planet or two, but, like, all the time? Like, it just doesn't make any sense. Like, humans having such a high status all the time doesn't make any sense to me. It just seems very self-glorifying. Uh, and those... What? I do not remember seeing any of your race on Terrace. That's insensitive. Hot worlds, I guess, but, yeah. And those rat ghouls, those were gross. There was always the danger of rat ghouls coming up from the sewers, or more mundane predators living and working in the area. My family and I struggled each and every day to make something of our lives. But we could only go so far. Taxes from the corrupt government, more fees from the gangs controlling the streets, and whatever was left paying for what food and medical supplies we could afford. Humans number one. Yay, humans. I could try and go out of the ship with Candace. Yeah, I'll try. In a, I'll try. After I've gone through and talked to everybody. Um, how could such a government last? It did not. But only because of the Jedi who came. It was very bad. We had no money to spare for any amenities. Even the Enclave on Dantooine seems a paradise in comparison. And of course... There was the constant bigotry and hate from the more affluent and human citizens, lording their wealth over us living below. Every once in a while, a rich human would come down through the lower levels with his droid entourage just to see how the wildlife lived and laughed at the mockeries that were our successes. But I have come to meet many decent humans in my travels since those days. Indeed, some of the greatest people I have ever met are human. Uh-huh. There was even one race in the Star Wars Clone Wars that enslaved humans. Anakin's was, Anakin wasn't enslaved by them and had to go undercover. Interesting. I have. I should probably watch the Clone Wars. Um. Yeah. Considering world history, you believe believe what? That humans are like the worst. <laughs> uh, like who? The Jedi who encouraged me to join the Order. The one who was with the group going to fight the Mandalorians. She was human. I, I... I suppose I see something of her in you when I look... I am sorry. I am getting away from my point. If there even was one. Sometimes I curse the day my parents fled to Taris. But then again, if they had not, I would not be where I am today. Blood? Yeah, or, or, oh, was it? No, never mind. Maybe I'm thinking of something else. Fled from where? Another story. Eh! 
For now, we must continue our own epic to save the galaxy if we can. Don't do this to me! How could this happen to me? Uh, they fled from the homeworld of her species. Unfortunately for them, Terrace was very oppressive. Life was not very easy. Perhaps she'll tell you more about humans being evil. Yeah. Does she like humans enough for sexy times? I wish. But she's not an option, even though if she could, I would. Uh, have anything more to say? I think... Yep, 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 yep. I think I think we're done with Zalbar. I'm, so I guess technically we have done Zalbar's too. We've done Zalbar's little personal mission. This guy I haven't taken out like once. Uh, programming spike? I need more of those always. Oh yeah. Programming spike. Yes. Thank you. I love you. Let's try again. Ah ha ha! Negatory. Got it. Okay, one more time. Uh, ask you some questions? Uh, you don't even know what I was gonna ask. Just chime in. Okay, he never says anything. Or, it never says anything. Did I... Where's my... There. There you are, Jolie! Got something on your mind, do you? You mentioned something about your adventuring days. Did I say that? Strange the tricks memory plays on you when you get older. So you weren't an adventurer? Didn't I say that my past was my affair? You don't see me yeah, do. prodding you with questions, you do, do you? You do! Uh... But you've already said so much. I'm curious. I'm not here to satisfy your curiosity. No staring at the old man. That's what the sign says, damn it. And besides, you don't really want to hear about me. We're talking ancient history. Probably before you were born. History bores kids. Proven uh, fact. Ah, not this kid. <laughs> yeah? Well, old people love to talk about history. Proven fact. Oh, fine, <laughs> fine. Have it your way. Just don't cry about it later. Yes, yes, I an was adventurer. an adventurer. Happy now? I wasn't even done with my Jedi training back then. I had a full head of hair and an eagerness to see absolutely everything. Sound familiar? The council was never happy with willful, brash Jolie Bindo, you see. Even <gasps> less so when I began my What? What? <laughs> he was a Jedi spoiler? Oh my gosh. Humanity is one of the many terrible races in Star Wars, but again, humanity in the galaxy has become so diverse there are widely different groups. That's true. Mandalorians are humans. Uh, I think the Chiss, even, I don't know if it's like canon, like canon now, but I think the Chiss were actually a a, a law, like a, a race of humans once. Like they come sort of from humans, but they're they're a very far away branch at this point. Uh, but yeah, although it does kind of bother me. I'm like anything that looks vaguely human shouldn't necessarily be human or from the human tree, like. It's it's a fairly I don't know it, the the biological structure that we have sort of makes sense and in certain worlds like ours things could evolve that look sort of like humans but aren't humans really so I don't feel like everything that looks semi humanoid has to be human let them let them be their own selves there are even subspecies of humans I guess yeah I mean I think. More than anything, maybe, when you say, like, Mandalorian and Naboo, it's not a race thing so much as, like, a nationality, but, like, a planet version, you know? You were a smuggler? Don't look at me like that, dammit. I wasn't always the wrinkled coot I am now, you know. Well, I can still fight, too. So wipe off that smirk. Yeah, I yeah, yeah. There. At the time, the Yukata system was interdicted by its own king. He preferred to keep his people starving ah. and poor. All the better to oppress. So he was a nice the smuggler. was trying to negotiate a peace. But they were getting nowhere as usual. I decided I wasn't going to wait. I found myself a ship and a partner. And we began smuggling food and supplies to the Yukata citizenry. So he wasn't Yukata. even making money off of it, probably. He was just smuggling supplies. Uh, where did you get the credits for all that? Well, we didn't... Ah! <laughs> 
some were happy to donate goods. Some he was Robin Hood. Knew had more than they could use. Robin Hood. Stole is such a harsh <laughs> word. They would have donated those goods readily enough if they were compassionate. I considered it a... <laughs> we only got caught once. A lone Yukatish frigate shot us down and forced a crash landing. I thought the force had abandoned me, as I remember. Uh, what happened? Well, as it happens, getting shot down turned out to be very fortunate. That day was the day I... <gasps> what? Well, that's... <laughs> Who was a smuggler who stole things and a wife? Oh my gosh. Joey, A plus character. I agree. Danny Cap Capiola. Capicola. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> yes, no. Jolie's actually probably one of my favorites so far. Like, probably actually my favorite. Out of all the companions, actually, now that I think about it. Uh, your wife? You were married? You know another way to get away? <laughs> yes, that's when I met her. I, if it's all the same to you, I'd prefer to stop talking now. My mouth is starting to You're draw so flies. What? What are you? Ah, he always makes me laugh. How far am I? I have gotten three star maps from Dantooine, Kashyyyk, and Manon. I'm like maybe halfway. I'm maybe halfway, but yeah. Thank you for, for double checking. I appreciate that. That's very nice. Uh, so I've talked to... Okay, hang on. Wait, no, no. Come back, come back. I talked to Jolie, Johanny, Candrus, and HK is basically done for now. And then I need to talk to Karth, Bastula, and... Oh, and um, Big Z's done. Mission. Mission's done, basically, because I- well, not done, I just- I already have her personal mission that involves her brother. And nobody's in here. I have to double check. I have to make sure that nobody's in the rooms that I don't expect them to be in. Bastula, that doesn't- that looks pretty good on you. How can I help? You look like you have something to say! I do. I've been trying to come up with the best way to say this for some time, but I suppose I should just come out and say it. The truth is, I have Wow, okay, this is a lot. Not just for the sake of the mission, but for my own sake as well. I am... Um, I'm glad you're with us. Uh, wow, ooh, wow. Uh, is, uh you made that sound... <laughs> Both of these are kind of rude. Mission's mission, if you will. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, is that a compliment from you? Well, yes. Surely that's not so surprising. It, it, it just that you sounded so pained to say it. Did I? I am trying to be sincere here. It occurred to me that I may have been too critical of you. Too demanding at times. Mm, may have been? I am trying my best. You're not making this easy for me, you know. You haven't been making it easy for me. Ah ha 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 ha! And when have you ever made things easy for me? No, I won't be, I won't be mean. Your problem is needed some work, I think. I know my manner can be a bit taciturn. Taciturn. I know you must be getting sick of my lectures about the dark side and, and everything else. I spent all my years being hounded by my instructors, being told so often how gifted and important I was until I was sick of it. That's true, it's a good point. I used to swear that I would never become as self-absorbed and stodgy as the Jedi Masters. It's ironic, really. I mean, it's all she's known, right? Everybody, like, it's the only way she knows really how to interact with people is, like... <laughs> where where everybody's always been telling her how important she is, but how because she's so important, she's very, very strict and blah, 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 all these things, blah, blah, blah. And then, so that's the only way she can interact with me. Thank you so much, Danny Capicola, for the follow. I appreciate that. Welcome. Welcome to the nut house. I d can easily miss missions. Mi I almost couldn't say that. Miss missions mission. Haha. -ha. If if you if I was a dude, I could be able to romance Bachelor and tease her about uh, telling her that she likes you and things like that. Well, I already feel like she wants me as a woman, so <laughs> like some of the dialogue, I'm like she definitely wants me. That's for sure. Um. Uh, uh, nonsense. You're not self-absorbed or stodgy. She's not. St uh, well. Uh, mm, eh. Uh, 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 uh. 
That's kind of you to say, but I know for myself it's not really true. Being controlled has kept everyone around me at an arm's length. Even those like yourself who are most in need of my understanding and compassion. But maybe it's time to change that. You deserve to know how much I respect and admire you. I thought, I just thought I should tell you. Well, that's nice. Thank you. Oh my gosh. You could tell her to leave you alone for good. See, being a, being a dark side person just seems so dumb. Like, yeah, the line seems so childish. I'm glad you did. Well, that was not nearly so difficult. You're as progressing. Actually. Thank you for hearing me out. I feel, I feel much better. But enough soul searching for now. We should probably continue on with our mission. Missions, missions, mission, mission. So there's a mod. I, I assume there's got to be a mod for it for sure to uh, do that. But I definitely want to play through Vanilla first. She's apologized to you for her earlier attitude and admits how much she respects you and admires you as a person and a Jedi. Whether this will change anything between you remains to be seen. We're gonna fall in love. Except Karth, actually. We have Karth's mission where we gotta go find his son. What do you need? What are you, what are you gonna talk? Talk about what? The only ah! thing I want right now is find Dustal. If he's alive, th there's just nothing else I want to think about. I'll understand if we can't look for him right now, but if we could, it would be a huge load off my mind. You know, the only reason I am romancing him is A, because his voice is nice. B, he's the only person I can romance in this stupid game. Bachelor's <laughs> uh, mission will be triggered after a dialogue about her parents. You feel soothed again by her. She does have a very relaxing, calming voice. <laughs> of course, Grammy, you would never try a mod like that, where you can romance whoever you want. Okay, that's everybody? I mean, I go talk to Mission, but it would be basically what we just had with Karth. You just like Caden? Oh, I know! He's the voice actor of Caden. I was gonna say, I, my, 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 my point B was actually gonna be that he reminds me of Caden, but he actually doesn't remind me of Caden, because I feel like Caden looks a lot like him. And I did romance Caden the first time around, because uh, I thought he... I, I really, I really liked Caden as a person, but Karth has been a bit more like I want to drop kick him a little bit more, a lot a bit more than I ever did with Caden. Caden, I liked how like Caden like would would stand back and like approach things, like he would approach like like uh, what was her name Ashley would approach things very hot headedly, but but Caden would take time to like look at like all the different aspects and the different sides of a picture, you know, and like would take his time about like. Put, he tried to put his feelings into words a lot, and I appreciated the way he tried doing that and stuff like that, so... Um, I don't know. I liked I liked Caden a lot. Towards the end, I kind of wanted to drop kick Caden in Mass Effect 3, but... Oh! What? Ah! Can I... Please? Can, what? So if I fixed that, if I got a mod to fix that, I could actually romance her? Yeah, what do that you... That would be cool to know more about the Mandalorian Wars. The war we had with the Republic was supposed to be the most glorious battle in our history. But it was a very costly one. I guess we didn't think of how much we could lose in it. You saved Caden over Ashley only because of this connection? Oh, see, Ashley's a space racist, so I boot her out every time. Sometimes we accidentally call him Caden when we don't call him Mr. Square, yeah. Uh, how much did you lose? There weren't many of us after that last battle. Mandalore himself was killed. He is the dead! The Jedi Revan. The best of us could not defeat him. After that last battle, those of us that survived were stripped of our weapons, our armor, and our basilisks. Revan's forces destroyed them while we were forced to watch. Those who hadn't fled earlier were left with nothing to call their own. No weapons, no armor. Only the honor of having fought in the battle we just lost. For many, this was not enough. While the rest of us were sent into exile on the Outer Rim, they tried to relive the old days, raiding worlds. They're nothing more than bandits now. And eventually you came to Tarsis. Yeah, I came to Tarsis. Tarsis, what? And forcing for Davik was not stimulating. The gangs on Tarsis and Davik's rivals were trash. They give no thrill in battle, no honor or glory in defeating them. It was like stepping on bugs. I sought worthy challenges, but the best that Terrace could offer were nothing to me. 
But I think now with you, I may finally uh, find the uh, opponents uh, worth. I want to romance Candorous, but you are a worthy companion. Maybe later I'll tell you more about what it was like to work for Davik. For now, though, we should get on with our lives. Is there something else you want to know? There's a coder restoration mod that fixes some dialogue and stuff so it triggers properly. <sighs> Your choice. I'm here if you want something done right. Oh, if I, I would love to romance Johnny, but now it's too late. It's too late, right? It's probably too late. And I have worthy opponents, Johnny, yep, 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 Joey, yep, yep, yep. He had a wife. He didn't want to talk about her. Okay, let's go back in. Let's see. Yeah, what do you want? Mm, oh. Your choice. Okay. How may I be of assistance to you, Padawan? Hey, Pat, what? I am not a Padawan. I am I a Padawan? Am I still a Padawan? I was wondering if we could talk. What is it you would like to speak to Having me? Having my babies? Uh, tell me more about your past. Well, I mentioned before that my parents had fled to Taurus. Perhaps I can tell you about that. Oh my gosh, side note, the gladiators and the shock have already clinched their positions in the stage two playoffs? What? I mean, New York Excelsior was a given, but sh the gladiators? They're undefeated this stage, but still. Anyway, side note, you will take the romance option you have been given and like it. No! Don't make me romance budget, Kaden, if I don't have to. Uh, no. It might still trigger in vanilla, but like you said, it's bugged. So there's a chance. There's a chance. Please, force. Please. I know people don't pray to the force, but I'm going to just uh, use my Jedi mind powers. Come on. Come on. Let it work. Um, Please do. In the early days of the Mandalorian War, there had been fighting closer to the Outer Rim worlds. Uh, near the world your species comes from? Cathar was there, yes. My people had a great reputation as warriors, and that appealed to the Mandalore version of honor. They sought to test themselves against us, I think. Test themselves by bombing our world. Slaughtering my people while they slept or while they ran. Yeah, Mandalore, they're like, oh yeah, we love warriors. We love being all fighting and stuff. I'm like, if you were true warriors, like maybe the Cathar were more like grounds troops, where like they really excel at like hand to hand combat or like, you know, even ranged, like, you know, gunfighting and stuff like that. But they're not necessarily equipped to like stop, you know, bombardment from space, you know, type of stuff like that. It's like the Mandalorians, I think. They like wrap up this idea. They they basically wrap up wholesale slaughter in this weird idea of honor. And she says that that they have their idea of honor, you know, um, is like seeing if 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 a people will be able to like withstand a whole scale slaughter. It's like that's not very honorable to me. They like just bomb people from space. Like uh, Mandalorians fought dirty. They swooped down from space, across the world, firing at anything that moved. They used ships in space to destroy all orbital facilities and bombard the surface. We did resist. And in spite of their violent attack, we did stave them off for quite a while. But in the end, we were doomed. Mm, the Jedi... Why did the Republic not help you? We were not members oh. of the Republic. Cathar was beyond the edge of the Republic and the Outer Rim. And besides, they could not have known. Our interstellar communications were the first things the Mandalores hit. All other short-range communicators were jammed. We were on our own. We knew what was coming. We had fought the Mandalorians in the first war against Exar Kun and the Sith. 
We knew there would be no mercy for us. The most we could do was pack the few of our people who survived onto what few ships remained and send them off into space as fast so as So is there a species, like, did not dying? Like, I thought I rem I don't know what it was. There was something I read or in an audiobook or something where, like, a race of cat people were demolished. But I'm pretty sure that was, that was during the Clone Wars. That was during the Clone Wars. Where, like, an entire planet was, like, I think Count Dooku, like, destroyed them. Like, orbital bombardment and actually destroyed all of the escaping space shuttles as well. And basically eradicated an entire species in, like, a day. Which, but I, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure it was a cat species as well. And apparently the cat species don't have an easy time of it in Star Wars. Um... What about your family? My parents carried me as a baby with them and were lucky enough to escape. They fled as far as they were able and eventually settled on Taris. They could stand running no further, I think. But Taris was a horrible choice. Dominated by humans, intolerant of other species, made everyday life unnecessarily hard. Mm, Taris is not a nice place to raise a child. How did your family cope? My father... Oh. My father turned to stimulants. He spent much of his time in local bars and dives. Oh. But we are warriors. It runs through our blood. And when he was on stims, he, he, he became foolish. He let his warrior nature get the best of him. So he would get intoxicated, and he would fight. And finally, one day, he would die. Uh, he died in a fight, obviously. He died. Killed. By a man who well, yeah. him into a fight and killed him like yeah, an animal. Yeah. I, I am sorry. I, I cannot talk about this any longer right now. I'm sorry, but I have. To, apparently, I haven't been talking to you guys enough. Hello, Ford Prefect. Welcome, welcome. Talking to Kitty Jack. Yes, Kitty Jack. How may I be of a? Can we talk? What is it you would? What happened after your father died? After my father died, my mother was left to support me alone. A single, non-human woman, living in one of the worst, most violent slums on Taras. It was not easy for her. Mm, what happened? When my father was killed, it seemed that something in her began to die as well. She worked. She worked as hard as she was able. But over time, she began it's, to waste yeah, away. It, I later learned that she was unable to get enough money to feed both of us. And had to start borrowing from the exchange. A band of cutthroats and smugglers. But even that was not enough. She hid what she was doing from me. She gave most of her food to me so that I would be strong. But she herself was suffering deeply from it. In the end, she could go on no longer. And collapsed at the cantina where she worked one day. Surely there was a doctor. She never recovered. There was nothing really that I could do for her. She left me no money, and no doctor would see her without being paid first. I sat by her bed for days as she lay there dying. I never want that to happen to someone. She had a really hard life. Again. But there was still the money she had borrowed. She had never paid it back and made no provisions for her death. You must understand. The exchange is brutal. They care nothing for the life of a sentient being. They are the major suppliers of slaves on Taras. They captured you? They thought it would be appropriate that, with my mother owing them money, the debt should be passed on to me. And with no way to pay, they took me by force. You have no idea what it is like to be bound like a beast and treated as such. It was oh my time. gosh! They treated me like livestock. They were waiting for a buyer to give them some credit for me when the Jedi came I to I can't them believe she's still sane! Like, wow! Uh, and they freed you? The Jedi could not abide by what they saw there and drove the exchange from the face of the world, freeing those of us imprisoned there. But the Jedi soon left to fight their war, and I was left with a dream. To join the Jedi! I swore that I would She was a little old, Jedi. though. As soon as I had enough money to do it, I bought passage on a freighter headed for Dantooine. And we both know what has happened since then. 
Uh, Johanny. I am grateful to you for having given me the opportunity to fulfill my dream rather than become what I hated. Someday, I may make it up to you. Let's get now, married. Let us keep on the task at Married. <sighs> Jeez. She's actually had, like, probably out of everybody, she's had the worst life. And, like, she seems so, like, like, it's no surprise that she would, I don't know, fall to the dark side easily because she had such a hard childhood. Like, she has to work, like, doubly hard to not, to be the better person that she wants to be. Right, right? Was this a competition for the dead to with the worst backstory ever? Like, not only has her race been, like, basically eradicated, like, she had to go live in a terrible, terrible slum. Her dad was, uh, was an alcoholic, essentially, and died in a bar fight, and her mother slowly wasted away and died trying to, like, breaking her back, trying to give her daughter enough food to live, who then gets sold into slavery. Like, wow! Wow! That's a lot for one person to go through. How may I be uh, uh, what Let's chat some like more about your about? depressing backstory. I have told you my life story. Already. One more thing! What more could you possibly want to know? Well, there is one thing. I did not want to mention it before because I was unsure how you would react. Uh, what is it? Do you remember when I told you of the Jedi who had come to my world to fight the Mandalorians? They were recruiting. Is it Revan? I'm gonna have a cow! Many people joined them. Uh, of course I remember. The main reason for that it's was their charismatic it's leader, it's the one whose truth freed me. And let me dream of seeking out and joining the Jedi Order. I was hesitant to talk to you about this because well I don't know. I'm I have no idea. Hello, Stay Frosty! Welcome back! Um, uh, how bad could this be? The Jedi had come to fight the <laughs> under the leadership of a powerful young man, a Jedi named Revan. I knew it! <laughs> Revan, the Jedi who turned to the dark side, became the Dark Lord of the Sith, and was defeated by Bastila and her strike team. I do not know what happened in the wars with the Mandalorians that turned Revan and Malak, or what they sought with these star maps. But the Jedi I knew was a paragon of the Order. I am sorry if this seems wrong to you, but to understand, you must realize that Revan was as great as a Jedi could be. Whatever turned Revan must be terrible. Indeed. How come and Revan is literally what everywhere? We find at the end of our journey will turn us as well. Uh, Johanny again. Dot dot dot. I guess. I just wanted you to know what I held from you. But rest assured, it's not a big not deal. Back. If our enemy is Malak, Revan's apprentice, or indeed even if it was Revan, I will help you through all trouble. Like, such is the will of the council. I don't. I don't know why she would have held that back. That's something that I don't really care about. Like, okay, you met Revan back when Revan was a good person. Like. Uh, and they inspired you. Cool. Like, it doesn't... Just a lot of people admired and, and were inspired by Revan, so I don't know why I would be upset that she had, like, interacted with Revan before. And I had to stop there because apparently I had been neglecting Johanny because she has a lot of backstory that apparently I haven't... Heard? I don't know if she's just kind of hidden in that corner or if she ha just has a lot like happening all at once. But anyway, uh, we got to talk with most people and I think the majority of the next episode I think will be Johanny, but I could be wrong about that. Anyway, I hope you all enjoy the episode. One of those chit chatty ones that I enjoy, but I can see how maybe it would be a little tedious sometimes. But anyway, I hope you all enjoyed and I will see you in the next one.